Welcome. In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to operate Multiplay, which is our control for multiple outputs. Here on the left side, we have two video walls and two video walls that they, don't, that they are not equal. One is a vertical screen on portrait mode. The other one, it's almost a square. You will face in the new studios the fact that there are plenty of screens of different sizes and resolutions. And once you have those studios, you need to put content on those screens. Multiple outputs require different kinds of playlists. That's why we have a new tool here called Multiplay. In Multiplay, we organize the content for stories. So here, as you can see, we have three stories, some headlines, news story, and a sports story. Also from Multiplay, what we do is to reorganize the world to adapt the content on the areas that match better for the, for the story. In this case, as you can see, we have a background, a green background for sports that covers both screens. Our idea is that the, set the, the combination of all your screens are a unique canvas where we can decide where we put the content. In this case, I will divide the screens, the two screens, in three with a kind of portrait look. As you can see, on the left side, we have some images. On the middle, we have some graphics. Graphics have full control. We can play them, we can edit them. It's super easy, like always, with the rest of our graphics. We can also have photos, videos, input signals, uh, even social media. Once you have your, play, your playlist and your story, as you can see, we divide that story, who has, in this case, 13 components, in rows. All of those rows are dedicated to the areas of the world. In this case, I have three. So, as operators can easily, if they want in a touch screen or if they want manually, shoot the content to the wall with just one click. If something's missing, here we have a connection to our database and you can easily find more images, more videos, more media that is needed. Let's bring this guy, for example, here and shoot it on that area, it goes there. Another important thing is that even if the screens look that they are separated and they look independent, we still believe that it's important to have them connected. In this case, I'm gonna move the content from left to right and you can see that even if they look two different things, they are connected. In this part, what we call the presets, or the video wall designer, is where we define the amount of areas we need, we also call them channels, and we define the positions, also the animations on how they will get in and out. It's pretty simple, you just have to add a new one, place it where you need it, and save it, you're good to go. So easy to recall them back. That's it. We wanted to keep it short. That was the presentation of the flexible video wall controller, this multiplay here in IPC.